Hey everybody, this is Steve Dunlap in the Elementary Education Department, and I wanted to take a few minutes just to talk to you about the second trimester report card. The second trimester is coming to an end very quickly, and I just wanted to address something specific on the uh, report card, and that's the at-risk of retention section uh, of the report card. This is very important when we are looking at a report card in any trimester, but especially in second trimester. So um, first things first, if you aren't sure how to access the um, uh, the directions for the elementary report card. If you log in uh, through the NIS website, uh, you log in to do your report cards, and if you simply click the help button up here, it will display the directions you need for the elementary report card. And what I want to focus on is a certain aspect of the elementary report card. Now let me scroll down to it. It's when we get down to other notations down here. and in this section it talks about the at risk of retention box. Now this is a very small box found on the report card but it's very important and does a lot of uh, gives a lot of information both to the sites, to the district, and to, to parents about a student's performance. Um, one thing I want to talk to you about um, is the criteria for a student being at risk of retention. Uh, the Riverside Unified School District uh, Board has adopted a policy that identifies uh, what it means to be at risk of retention and for students in grades uh, kindergarten through third. That would be any student who is below basic at the end of any trimester on all reading and writing standards. For the upcoming second trimester report card, what you would want to do obviously is to look at all reading and writing standards. If a student in grades K through three is below basic at all of those areas, you would want to mark the box at risk of retention for that student. If a student is in grades four through six, they have two areas in which they can qualify for at-risk of retention. One, that they are below basic at the end of the trimester in all reading and writing standards, or they're below basic at the end of the trimester in all their mathematics standards. So that would be the board criteria that we have for identifying students who are at risk of retention. If you have a student who has um, a majority of below basics in math but has a basic or a proficient, that student doesn't necessarily meet the criteria for at risk or at risk of retention and that box should not be marked. Uh, for students um, yeah, with IEPs, this is another um, area that sometimes can be confusing. Uh, if a student has an IEP but they are below basic in all these areas and they do meet the board criteria, they still need to be marked at risk of retention as the report card, the elementary report card is indicating progress towards grade level standards. Um, you'd want to mark that student at risk of retention. Now the student will also, if they have an IEP, receive a special education report of progress and that will outline their progress toward their IEP goals. So it's uh, important to look at these things in, in different uh, areas. The elementary report card is reporting progress towards grade level standards and the special, special education report of progress is reporting progress towards IEP goals. Now, for teachers in grades 4 through 6, because you're looking at both language arts and math as being areas in which a student can qualify, sometimes you might run across a, a situation like this. You can see this student uh, in the second trimester was below basic in all areas, although in statistics, data analysis, and probability, that standard of that domain was not taught during the second trimester, so they were marked as not applicable. Now, this student would still be marked at risk of retention even though they, this was not taught during the trimester, but in every other um, strand or, or domain uh, in mathematics that was taught during that trimester, the student received a below basic mark, so that student would be marked at risk of retention. Thanks for taking time to watch this video on the at risk of retention criteria. If you have any questions or you um, need some assistance, you can talk to your principal at your site or you can contact me directly. Thanks a lot.